Hello, and welcome to a new episode. Humans. Two legged creatures. The conquerors of this planet. Rule anything with an iron fist. They call themselves in Latin the wise, sapien. I find it pretty ironic. Maybe the things I will say in this video will be harsh and controversial for some of you. But I don't mean that will not be true. Intro around all history. Anything which new is harsh and controversial to the majority. Slave masters find it hard to end controversial. When slave liberationists say that slavery was wrong, was cruel, was barbaric was savage, was uncivilized. So was it for the people not to come up for the rights of women before the civilized movement? The right movement. I'm going to ask you now, how can Osama declare that when animals go into slaughterhouses alive and come out in thousands of pieces, how can Osama declare that animals are not abused, tortured and um, turned in object and being horribly treated? How can slaughter and jet masters well go together? I say it's impossible. The humans are also very delusional and easily to corrupt. Slave liberationists were called enemies of mercy in civilizations. Just like we, the vegans, be called radicals, crazy. Do you have to know? All through have to pass the three stages. First, be mad and radical. Yeah. People make always fun of things that I don't understand. Spectacular. If it been to be kind to somebody else. They're on there act like ogres. Make fun of them, mock them, it's the stadium too. People understand that they have to chase, but people are not like to chase, and therefore do anything to let the status quo. Just like a bee. They make lies and propaganda, to protect their part. So they dare to um, become better, claim that they're liberationists, being the bad guys, when they're being the ones that cast the abuse, and in reality they're being the bad guys. How can somebody that wants to free living beings consider being a terrorist? We're not the ones that hold others in slavery and kidnap them from their family members. I talk here on this part on the way of treatment, how the majority in the carnist society, the uncivilized societies, so I call you, oh, America. 
and the west and more and more of the Chinese. Let's go away from their ways of uh, rational behavior of Shinto and of Buddhism. Awaken you. Peace of always to conquer and violence, not the other way around. The peaceful person has nothing to compromise. The violent one has to be free. When the liberationists say enough is enough, they will stand. It will stop now. Then it is on the victimizer to do the right thing and stop their behavior. That's the same thing to do. Vegans ask you to stop harming our animals. You don't go in the fence, just like any rapist when he been put for the judge and put blames on the behavior of uh, others to uh, let your penalty become low. That's what a criminal do. That's what a politician dipshit do. What do people do that you despise? At least I despise this kind of behavior. Feel in the blame game. So not like how to call. Feel in the blame game might go like this. There will be just Jews. There will be just homosexuals. They'll be woman, they'll be black, they'll be yellow, so I care about them. They'll be cow, they'll be pig, they'll be dog, they'll be camel, they'll be elephant. That's what's been, that's feel in the blank game. You can also call it the victimizer mindset. The victimizer mindset is just like that. It is an arrogance mask or persona because persona means mask in Latin. Just like the actors of where on the ancient poly. So it was Schopenhauer acknowledged also in his time. Darkness to animals is a sign of goodness of character. And those how we grill the animals can be positively say that they don't be good persons. Life costs more pain than you want and than you have to do. Veganism has cost the least amount of harm possible in this plan. Don't make foolish excuses. Don't talk about things you don't understand. Because we, humans, are standing the right side of justice. And if that offends you, you can, can take our side. Make a plea and move forward. Since most people only play lip service to the injustice of the world, now do something to make actually something better. The least you can do is become vegan. And oppose hatred and discrimination several day times. Instead of being a disgusting slave master with an arrogant might make fight mentality. Just like the kings and queens of the worst from the Middle Age time. And by the way, if you honestly place yourself in the animal's position, there is no way you can justify the things that we do to them on a daily basis. Imagine that you're being put on a concentration camp truck with in the thing and with uh, in the water and food. Packed in small spaces where you not can good move. Uh, denied 
symbolized for the most of your life. If you honestly place yourself in the animal position, there is no way that you can justify it. What is? If you still earn babies, we cut the horns. Enter the life, actually. We separate families, we rape cows and other animals. Artificial insemination, that's how they're called. Them. They're genetic modified them. How in the hell is now not, not psychotic? I'd be forever embarrassed to be. I'll be forever embarrassed. Stand up right. If that's something me to be proud of. In a world of apathy. Often world in a world of mindless robotic human beings. That not even understand the violence that they are being participating. In, on a daily basis. What do they know? All the leaders of the world. All the high priests. They have convinced themselves that human, the two legged one, is the crown of creation. That all other animals, all other creatures, are nearly there to provide them with food, clothing, or entertainment. In relation to them, all men, all humanity, are Nazis. For the animals, it is an eternal tripping point. Humans are a marvelous curiosity when they're on the very, very best. There is a kind of a low grade nickel plant angel. And they're on the worst, they're being unspeakable, unbelievable, unimaginable, and unforgivable. It all means in all the times there is a sarcasm. And in all sincerity, they call themselves the noblest and wise work of God in nature. When by their own criteria, they're modeling the most unspecial thing on nature. In the king, Richard I, he has put a bunch of, um, of Jew families and put them in a tower and, set it and put it on fire. Only because uh, of race privilege. In the time of the Caesars, they create large gladiator battles, wherein animals, humans, and other creatures are forced to fight with each other for the entertainment of the of the true savage kings and queens, the emperors. This is like uh, Caligula, Caesar, Neo, humans, of a girl, father. You only have to have an asset to a news source and see how savage humans can be. But forget not, but I have to say before, when you're on the very best. There being a lot, kind of a low grade nickel plate angel, so why not try to be dead? Instead that we torture, exploit, try to live in harmony. I think that's something to be proud of. Do not dominate, not exploit, not take more than you need. Let the animals alone. Let them off you off your uh, dinner plate. It stands, it beats, it lantles, it laboons, it tells you. Why is that something weird? You eat uh, the breasts of chickens 
or the skin of pigs. That's vegan. Vegan is bacon is truly the skin of another animal. And according to some cannibals, fish similar like uh, human flesh. So you will be addicted to the taste of human flesh. <laughs> Those who can let you believe absurdities, you also let them commit atrocities, as Voltaire wants to say. It's compassion, decency. Don't mean anything if you not act it. Saying that you've been against violence, even uh, you be not against violence, because if you are not vegan, you support violence on a daily basis. And for all the people that say, "Please get some," have you actually listened to what you have said? If you are truly think that, you also go vegan, because it costs around something like um, 80, 18 pounds of plant products to create one pound of meat, of flesh, of corpses, of body parts. The lies are here. The propaganda of the abuse is everywhere. Choose the right side of people. Stand on the side of the ones being abused, not on the side of the abusers. Peace of always to Trump farmers. Since we, the vegans, are the defenders. Just like the Black Right movements before the civil, civil rights movements, before the civil war, was right. The Uncle Mick was right, the Black Panthers were right. Just like we are right, if it comes to the victims we fight for, the victims of the system of exploitation. If you are not a victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it become pretty easily to mock your victims, make fun of their entire existence, say that their life would matter at all. We are the victim. Choose compassion over industrialized violence and cruelty. Anytime that you eat one steak, one animal, one animal has to suffer for it. Plants have no central nervous system, and so if I say before, it costs around like um, 19, um, 60 to 19 pounds of uh, plant products to create one pound of animal products, animal body parts, actually. So you yeah, like it called. Understand? Also, this one on a totally different topic, but the reason that our st children start from starvation is not because we have, so you can uh, imagine, or what I've said before, it's not because we have too little food on the planet. No. It is because we have we uh, we feed all that food that we can feed to the eight hundred nine uh, eight hundred ninety uh, billion uh, a million humans, actually. We feed that to um, livestock. Worldwide, around something like 70% uh, of all the plant food is fed to livestock. I'll do the math. 
You don't have to be Einstein to figure out the conclusion that animal agriculture is not only evil to animals, but also a very evil to the environment and people in poor countries. Watch my videos, I have many videos, but also my human rights hypocrites video. You will find the last thing that I say interesting. And also my video where I explain what um, bias and tourism be. And maybe also some of my speeches. For now, I'll see you next time. Humans are a marvelous curiosity when they're on the very, very best. There's a kind of log rate nickel plantation. When they're on the worst, being inspicable, unbelievable, and unforgivable. By all means, and all the times, because that's how I think it's Humans blame other animals always for things they shall themselves do. They weren't always so um, clear. Best to say that the animals are stupid and dirty when they're not look it's clear and with an open mind. Yes, if you look to technology, maybe humans are brilliant. Some, but you can also argue that without books, civilization, so if we know it, being impossible. So. You can then also say that if dolphins may be or elephants or whales have um, our hands, they can make uh, things far more impressive than we can. And maybe also uh, with uh, less mistakes. Because uh, there are humans make a lot. For any uh, great adventure that humans have created, there will be at least two. Rocks. And I dare you to chance me on that if you want. I say for any two things you can have code that humans have done that's good, I can put two on. <sighs> this is not so good. You can chance me on my uh, Facebook for that. And when you've been on my Facebook, maybe you can also put there your attention to some of my articles that I've made, that I've not made a video from. And maybe, if you uh, have to put one in your eye, say which one you want that I make a video from. Because of many of my scripts on my Facebook page that I have not made a video from. So. Check that out as well. Humans always claim animals not think, you're not aware. But any time that have been a tornado, all the animals, uh, world animals, go away long before the the, go, the Gulf uh, flow hit the society where they live, and they've been far more aware from their environment and their life the humans I've um, I've go to back to 2004 well one uh, tsunami hit the uh, cast of tsunami tsunami and um, Sri Lanka and many other nations more than 250 uh, more than 200 thousands people penished with animal corpses being nearly impossible to locate. If they're not been caged up, they have escaped long before the tsunami hits. Check all the links in the description below <laughs> for that article. So animals of um are all Qualities that we lack or not possess 
They've been different, but they've been not underlings. There have been different nations in the struggle that we call life. Different citizens of this great world where we live in. That's actually been for all living beings. It's not a world of one species like most of humans of two leggets how many want to believe this is a world with great diversity in life spaces with three simple laws of now, of so three basic laws: the power of an ecosystem is dependent on diversity within the second. There's a limit of growth because there isn't there are isn't a, a limited amount of uh, final resources. But that means human societies have to think before they uh, grow and exploit. And all living beings being interdependent on each other. A true is still true, even if only one small group knows. Then it's only on the majority to put their blindness on. Because it is not so hard to see that humans be now in this moment the most biggest threat to anything. And that we've been actually not so special. Contrary with some of us believe. Our technology is a false, is a great falsehood. There are cheats. It's not at one capacity. We have all cheats. <laughs> the form of intelligence that humans most often refer to is the capacity of manipulation. Manipulation of each other, using each other to get more done. But we mean truly. A bunch of extreme arrogance, deceitful, deceited, naked apes that have made themselves something like a divine god in their own limited minds. It seems to me that that. In the truth. Any day, some of our species will extinct. The records are page. So, unfortunately, species will extinct. This is not normal. This is not indeed normal that some species were extinct over time. One on one on year basis. But the way it now go it's extreme. And that's because of deforestation for um, feed for land animals. And for gravity and in our agriculture, the most biggest threat to the life of this plant according to the laws of species diversity even 
there can only be a small amount of carnivores on this planet in contrary with the amount of uh, herbivores. A ratio that I have uh, calculated on any two, uh, no, well, on any three to five, to, yes, on only three land animals, um, that mean herbivores, you can only have a maximum one carnivore. It's a calculation that I've made. It will say that maximum around some like uh, 20% of all the animals, at least on land, being carnivores, and 80% are herbivores. Animals be not here for us. We here for their own reasons. They don't been here to be trophies for hunters or shall I like to call them legal serial killers. Because I don't need a politician and I don't lie. I don't need a PR political correct dipshit. I don't put my hands from my mouth. Ever. And I don't compromise. I choose to be true to myself. Even if it's been a cost the reality of others. Better than to be false and encourage me all my comes. Which is it?